Hello. Today I'll be doing a video about an NDS emulator called NDS for iOS. What you want to do oops, go to the downloads email for iOS homepage and just say for master drive it says install and you can install it. Here you can't do that because it's there's like be a DDoS attack or something on the site, Infinity Dev site. So you just you click on the icon it takes you here. You click download and you'll click install it installs in seconds. So it's perfectly fine. And it'll give you this icon here. And so with this, this one's a good you can actually add ROMs as well, which isn't nice. So you can actually so I'll just say I'll do top twenty five download. This is Pokemon Diamond, so I'll get Pokemon Diamond then. This one's good, it's like GBA for iOS, where you can actually download it to the app. You don't have to use another app to get it. So download now. Slightly bigger file than most GBA games, so it might take a bit longer, but it really shouldn't take too much time. Okay, here. And have open in options, but I'm just gonna do open in NDS for iOS. Then it's just downloading it. Hmm. Just wait a bit, see what happens. Let me just go into the app. No. Yeah, I just let it wait a bit. Now you can't download these ROMs without having these emulators on your device because it would just say sorry Safari cannot download this and things like that and Google Chrome cannot download this file right now Should be working, I don't know why. Settings is all fine. Let me just refresh the page, see what happens. Okay, let me try now. There, okay. Found out you have to hold it down. Now it's there. Okay, when you're now, sorry about that, when you're now doing it, for some reason NDS, 
you have to hold down the opening. Sorry. Here, here. As you can see, my controls are all here. I think it's a bit laggy just because of the screen recorder. I'll try and skip past. And here, as you can see, there are different. You can do this. Click close. Now you can background it. So you know, I think it saves it in like um. Did you see? So now I can go back in. See what happens. No. Okay. What you need to do for pick one diamond, which what I think you need to do in as the Game Boy Color emulator is what you need to do is when you save the game, you need to actually just you need to actually save the game from like when you do start or press X or something and go down and click save, let it save and everything. So that you then when it loads, it loads as if it's an actual DS game, which you know, I see if you can hear shift pad down, which is good. You might want that, so it's down at the bottom, so you can see the screen nicely. So I'll just have that on, and you can have the sound off and the frames per second on if you want. But really, that is how you get a uh, uh, NDS and Nintendo DS emulator, and how to get games onto it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, rate and subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you very much and goodbye.